Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Tasty Tuesday. That's right, I'm doing a Tasty Tuesday. We're gonna be making Zupa Toscana. So I have actually made a keto version of Zupa Toscana. It was actually my very first video in the Tasty Tuesday series whenever I started keto. But I had one of you reach out to me, um, Festus's mom or Festus's mom. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce your YouTube username and I don't know your real name. Um, she said that she wondered how this would be, this recipe would be with radishes. And I was like, well, I use cauliflower. And she was like, well, I'm just sick and tired of cauliflower. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it with radishes and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. So I'm gonna leave a link to the original recipe up in the eye, you can check it out. Same exact recipe, you need one pound of Italian sausage. Um, I use mild, uh, one thing of chicken broth, half a cup of onion diced, three cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, crushed red pepper. I'm using two things of radishes that I'm gonna like dice up a little bit. The original recipe calls for kale, um, but the last time that I bought ingredients for this recipe, the store was out of kale, and I bought chopped spinach, so I'll be using the other half of this bag of chopped spinach. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is brown your Italian sausage, and while that's going, I'm gonna dice up my onions. All right, I have the sausage in the skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken broth and the chopped spinach and add it to my crock pot. I also went ahead and turned my crock pot on to high, uh, depending on how long you want to cook it. If you're going to do it like you're going to start before you go to work, you can put it on low. If you um, want to have it done within about four to six hours, put it on um, put it on high. I added the onions and the garlic in with the sausage. And now I'm going to start dicing up the radishes. I'm thinking and maybe quarter them, something like that, about that size. So here's the rest of the radishes. I did go ahead and rinse them, they did feel a little gritty. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage, onion, garlic mixture. I don't personally add any salt at this point because I feel like you can always add some at the end if you need it. Um, so there's some red pepper flakes and a little bit of the seasoned pepper. And I'm just gonna give everything a stir. And I do have more chicken broth that I might add because I wanna make sure these are all covered all the way because you, you want them to get soft. I'm gonna add about eight more ounces of chicken broth. All right, put the lid on it, cook it on high like I said, for about four to six hours. Um, when it has about 30 minutes remaining, I'm gonna add in the heavy whipping cream, about half a cup, to give it the creaminess. It's been cooking on high for four hours now. Yeah, I started around three o'clock. About an hour ago, I added the heavy cream. Like I said, probably about, not even half a cup. Kind of looks like I actually might need to add a little bit more. I like mine a little bit more creamier than that. Um, but the radishes look done. So let's give it a try. Okay, so we're gonna give it a tasty taste. It's basically the exact same thing. I just did radish instead of cauliflower. Yeah, it's gonna be super hot. Lava. I think it might need more um, cream. It's not very creamy. It needs more cream, and needs salt. But otherwise that, I'm good. Yeah, so I actually said when I was making it that I don't add salt when I'm cooking it because uh -huh. I don't know, like with the chicken broth. Yeah, you're right. Good like, point. I don't want it to be too salty. Yeah. So we can definitely add salt. I mm -hmm. think it does need a little bit more cream. I didn't even put in, I think it was like a quarter of a cup. Yeah. Um, but what do you think about the radishes instead of the cauliflower? I personally like the cauliflower better. I think the cauliflower would be better. The radishes and all that are a good like potato substitute. And you we'll know, see I like using that for the roasts and stuff. Well see like the real Zupa Toscana has potatoes. Yeah. And so that's the reason why I think a lot of people use radishes. Well see this thing though, I've never had it pre-keto. So I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, I like the radish though. For me, all the radish does is provide a texture. It doesn't provide a flavor. I get a little something. I get just a little. It's not crazy. 
When it was cooking, it smelled like radish soup, and it was Ew. it was really grossing me out. I didn't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more cream mm -hmm. and add some salt. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I still prefer cauliflower. Yeah, I think I'd go back to cauliflower. I just um, don't like it. That but much. we're just not we're not tired of cauliflower. So if you're tired of cauliflower and you want to try something that you know doesn't contain cauliflower, it works. <laughs> You can definitely substitute uh, the radishes. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right. Well, so this was a requested video. If you have one that you would like to see me do for Tasty Tuesday, or any other day, really, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.